Well, here is John Orozco, whose amazing story has taken him around the country, around the globe, and now he's back home. This must feel so cool for him. Family is here. They've come from the Bronx, just north of Manhattan. A little bit later, we'll show you a, a family get-together at nearby City Island. This is a, a family deal, and, and John has contributed in great ways to him getting here. And he's so excited to have his family here. He says, they never get to see me compete. I'm competing all over the world. I live away from home. This is amazing that my friends and family are sitting in this historic building watching me perform in an Olympic year. But look at that face. You see that right there? It, it is determined. It's stoic. And I have to tell you, two years ago, he did not look like this at all. The, the level of concentration, the focus. He's always been a phenom of a talent, but he has never really been this serious. And you got to remember that just a couple of years ago, when he was trying to make his debut at the senior level, he tore his Achilles tendon. And that actually still bothering him. And he says, this will be the toughest challenge for me, starting on floor. Danelle Leva, 15.033. Since that Achilles injury, he had to completely rework his floor exercise routine. So doing all of those flares in combination, that gives him a lot of bonus points, and he doesn't have to do the, the smashing tumbling that beats up that ankle. And it looks great. Crowd loves it. A little bit hoppy. You know, it's, he's so good in the air, and usually those landings are just perfect. You saw in the background there, George Kalinske, the legendary photographer of Madison Square Garden, who has taken all the iconic photographs of all the great things that have happened here, including Nadia putting up a perfect 10. And there'll be some shots of John Orozco that go down into the history of this building from the Bronx. Amazing. And you know, good, but certainly not great. John can be better. Uh, that dismount, he was a little bit sloppy in the air. And in gymnastics, you take a very small step, and it's one-tenth, big step, three-tenths, as he's being kind of lectured a little bit by his coach, Vitaly Marinich. But this is how he reworked his routine. He has no landings that, that have him coming in in a really difficult position, but he capitalizes that he can get high difficulty values from all of these flare-type elements. And so the dismount, you can take a look, in the air, his knees are a little bit sloppy. You see that? And the legs are crossed. And that step, is it wider than shoulder width? Well, maybe not his shoulders, but I guarantee you that is three-tenths of a point. Well, and who knows how much he was thinking about his Achilles and, and how it would feel today. He was a little bit worried about it at the end of practice yesterday when we spoke with him. And you could see it. You could see the strain on his face, just hoping he could get through today. I talk, I He's talk, not limping at all. No, no. I talked to him right before the event, too, and I said, so, John, how's your Achilles today? And he goes, way better. And he had this huge sigh of relief. So, Vitaly also verified that. 